what's going on guys and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on the plugin called random box so what this is you can set in the config each random box that you want to create and inside that random box are certain items and when a player gets this box they have a chance of pulling whatever you put in the config so you can set the chances for each item that you put and if you set like seven items in the config then you can set it to let the players only pull three so it'll make them pull three random items out of the seven that you set. So it's really cool. You can create as many random boxes as you want and give them to your players. So with that being said, just download this plugin, drop in your plugins folder, restart your server, and we're just going to head straight into the config.yml inside of the random box folder inside your plugins folder. Alright guys, so once you're inside your config, this is where we're going to set all the items to be inside the boxes. So if you scroll down, the first box is right here, and it has this ID. So it's 9901, and I'm sure that's just a random number that means really nothing. But you can change the number to whatever number that you want. Here's the item, they recommend you just have it like this. And it kind of does look like a box, to be honest, if you actually look at it. And the box name, you can change the color codes to make it colorful. And the drop items amount, so how many items out of however many you have, it'll drop this amount. Whether you want them to have permissions, and here's the permission right here. And if you want the box to be open when it's right clicked, enchant box if you just want to add the enchant effect on it. If you want it stackable or unstackable. And here are the items that it drops. Here you can change the item name, the data, the amount, the name of the item, and the lore. So you can change all that, add some color codes, make it all yours. And here's an enchant of the, the sword itself and the probability of the drop. So if you want all your items to have an equal chance of being dropped, then you can set the chance to one. But if you raise it higher than one, then it's gonna have a higher chance than all the rest. So let's say you have this diamond sword you set to have a six chance, and the rest are just like twos and threes. Now obviously, they're probably gonna pull a diamond sword more than the rest. So it's just about whether this number is higher than the other. So you can change the second item, the third, the fourth, and comes with six oh well it comes with eight items I didn't even see that and of course you can also add commands so this is pretty cool whether you want to execute it from the console which doesn't really make a difference but here's the percent player percent so this will be just makes it different for every player who touches the random box it will change it to their name and give them this item right here so it's pretty cool everything about this plugin is cool you guys can mix it up change it how you want and make as many random boxes as you want and here are all the messages and you don't really have to worry about the rest but once you're done just save it and restart your server all right guys so once you're on minecraft server to see all the random boxes that you have on your server just type slash random box list and just hit enter and i only have one and it shows up right there so pretty cool and that will help you kind of remember the ids so to give a box to a player just type slash give box the player's name and then the ID number. So 9901 or whatever you guys put. And then there we go. Now I have it. It has an enchant effect. Now I'm just going to right click to open it. And turns out I didn't get any real items. I just got XP, which is still pretty cool. I like that feature because it mixes it up. You can get items, you can get commands, or you can get XP. So that's what I love about this plugin. And it really makes it surprising. So you guys can give these random boxes to your players, whether they do something good, they promote your server, or they buy something from the donation store that you have on your server, if you have one. So you can actually add this onto Bycraft. You can just add the command slash give box and then the player variable and then you just type the item ID which is also pretty cool so if they buy a lot of stuff you can give it to them and that's it for this tutorial so hopefully you guys like this plugin and if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time peace out